Here's the deal with ethanol is that, from my experience, it is entirely cost-driven. You know, we all talk about saving the environment, and everybody's interested in doing that. It's one thing to say, I support green fuels, cleaner fuels. It's another thing to reach into your wallet and pay another 30 cents a gallon for that fuel. So the reality is no one can predict the price of gasoline next year with any certainty. And no one can predict the price of ethanol with any certainty next year. So with that being said, your average fuel station owner is not going to invest in ethanol because who knows what they're going to sell from it versus putting a diesel pump in or a gasoline pump in or whatever. So what we do is we, when the stars line up, whether it's next year or five years from now or eight years from now, when gasoline is $6 a gallon and ethanol is $4 a gallon. There will still be these infrastructure issues and there will still be these permitting issues and things like that. And you can't go build a station quickly at that time. You have to be ready. And we intend to be ready. There's so much talk. And one of our competitive advantages, not that we don't talk, but we do stuff. We do things. As evidenced by what we've done out there years ago. It is open four years this summer. Next month that place is open for four years. And, um, you know, people still call it the fuel station of the future. <laughs> I worked on the thing six years ago. <laughs> so we, we do stuff. And, and the next time there's another round of grant funding out there, I'm going to be the guy who's doing stuff, not the guy who keeps talking about what I'm going to do down the road. So that's one of my things. We're going to be digging holes in two months.